on the medical watch here this afternoon. Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial start of summer. Yeah, and no one wants the warmer and summer days to end with a trip to the ER, but it happens. Joining us now to talk about summer safety is Dr. Robert Needleman, an emergency room physician with Cook County Health. Doctor, thanks for checking in on a Friday afternoon. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me. Sure, sure. We notice. I mean, all you have to do is look outside and you can see all the traffic. Yeah. People are going places. What are the, the biggest health threats that uh, you see bringing people to see you in the ER right now? For sure. I think people are excited to finally have a real summer in front of them and are rearing to go. Things we just want to make sure people remember, um, you know, as it gets hot out, stay hydrated, find shade. Um, you know, if you're drinking alcohol, remember to be uh, smart when you do it, be responsible. Uh, those are the big things heading into the summer season that we just want to make sure people are aware of. Yeah, I've always heard dehydration is kind of the number one uh, thing that you guys get in ER rooms during Memorial Day weekend and beyond, obviously, for the rest of the summer. But some of the other key things that we try to tell, you know, especially parents about is if some of you are going out to the lake, if you're going swimming, you're taking your kids out there, that it can be a big, big threat. What do you want parents to know about that? For sure, especially when they head to the lake. Uh, keep an eye on your kids, I think, uh, you know, Everybody's extremely excited about the summer, I think, given the past 14 to 15 months. But be uh, smart, be responsible. If your kids are swimming in the lake, keep an eye on them. Make sure you follow all the local rules and regulations regarding the undertow and the currents. You know, you just you just want to you recognize the enthusiasm for the summer. Mm -hmm. I think we're all feeling it. it's just a matter of being smart about it. You know, I guess just because of, you know, the holiday weekend upon us, we're really putting the focus on recreational activities and the threats that exist to people there. But uh, I'm going to guess, you know, car crashes uh, tend to be the biggest, um, you know, victim related injuries that, that, that are brought to you. Is there something else that, uh, that I need to focus on when we're thinking about summertime injuries? Sure. Well, I mean, re regarding car crashes, again, it's just it's being smart. So obviously, uh, if you're drinking, find uh, another way home, whether that's an Uber or a friend, uh, you know, don't text and drive. Unfortunately, that's still a big problem, not just in Chicago, but all over the number of times we have people come in that, you know, admit to texting and all of a sudden they're in a car accident. It does happen. It does happen pretty frequently. Yeah. Uh, as you mentioned, yeah, the driving, it seems like traffic is kind of up to pre-COVID levels so that the traffic is out there. Uh, just be safe when you're driving and obviously conscientious of what's going on. One of the interesting things that they put here in our notes uh, this afternoon is fireworks. So I always like to look at the fireworks. I don't yeah. necessarily like to set them off. I guess I'm, <laughs> I'm the rarity. Uh, but what do you see in terms of injuries when it comes to that? Is that still a big issue for you guys in the ER rooms? Oh, for sure. And it's it's not only just fireworks, but, you know, people are shooting fireworks off at night when they might have been out with their friends. So it's doing it responsibly, obviously. Uh, you know, you, you want to know what you're doing before you light off a bunch of fireworks. So make <laughs> sure, uh, you know, you're, you're doing it responsibly. You're doing it in a safe place. You're doing it outdoors. Uh, again, it's really just common sense measures that I think we just want to reiterate this summer, just given how excited people are to, you know, return to some form of normalcy. Mm -hmm. okay. Especially when you're talking about younger kids in common sense. Sometimes that is a learned skill, but we get that. Dr. Robert Needleman with um, Cook County Health in the ER. Thanks so much. We appreciate your uh, time and expertise. And thank you for oh, all, the work, all the work you've mm -hmm. been doing over the last year. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Take right. care. You too.